Greetings, my name is Murtaza Haider and I'm a professor at the Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University and I'm also the author of Getting Started with Data Science and the book was published by IBM Press. In this particular video, I'm addressing a specific question. How to use R for econometrics but in a question where our data set has repeated observations from the same respondents and uh, we have uh, to weight the observations by another variable. So, the challenge for us is the following. There are the data set that we have has multiple observations, that is, uh, individuals uh, who have responded to the survey. Um, we are not collecting just one observation from them, but in fact, we're collecting multiple observations from them. And that could be a problem in many circumstances. And therefore, when you're estimating regression models, you have to account for this, that you have not, the observations are not independent. You have more than one observation um, coming from uh, the respondents. And at the same time, uh, not all your observations should carry, uh, carry the same weight, that they don't carry the same importance. For instance, um, uh, some subset of uh, observations should carry more weight than the others. And if that were to, to be the case, you have to account for it. Why? Because when you weight the data, the weighted data set, uh, that affects the estimated coefficients and not the standard errors. But if you have sort of a panel-like structure in your data set, then if you don't account for it, then you may have inflated standard errors and you may end up um, with uh, um, conclusions that the, there's, there's significance in your results, but there may not be significance because you did not account for the uh, structure of the data set. So we would like to address these and see. We want to know if these could be done um, simultaneously. That is the two concerns that I highlighted. Can we address them simultaneously in R? And the answer is yes. Yes, we can. Now, a, a word about R. R is an um, uh, open source free uh, tool that you can use. It's a di very diverse and feature rich tool. You can do all sorts of econometrics and data science, and I forgot to mention visualizations with R. Um, and it is being continuously updated by a team of several thousand volunteers, and also there's a core group of developers. And because it's open source, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and other um, uh, formats. At the same time, uh, the, uh, the, the challenge that I find with R is that its syntax is rather clunky, and, and there's uh, some getting used to it. It's not that intuitive as other software like Stata. So here's our question. We would like to know if good-looking professors uh, receive higher teaching evaluations um, in course evaluations from students, and um, is it because of their good looks? Um, and then what our dependent variable is the average teaching evaluation score uh, received in a particular course. And the data structure is such that each professor ended up teaching more than one course, so we have multiple observations from um, each instructor depending upon how many courses they taught and therefore we have to account for the structure of the data set and we need to use a unique identifier to identify the professors and at the same time um, the the way that um, university courses are structured um, the data set uh, would have a class where uh, you have only 20 students whereas in another class you have 400 students and then the students are responding to the professor's uh, evaluation and if, if a course evaluation is based on the responses received from 400 students that course should carry more weight and therefore we we are accounting for this by weighting the data set by the number of students who responded um, for each course. And the um, explanatory variables we used are gender of the instructor, their uh, English language proficiency, status as a tenured or untenured prof, whether the course was uh, upper division carrying multiple course credits, um, whether the professor was of mid uh, visible minority, and other explanatory variables. And our variable of interest is this normalized beauty score. I must also mention that the data set is provided by uh, Professor Daniel Hammermesh at the University of Texas in Austin, and he had published a paper with this particular data set. And if you want to get this data set, uh, download it. You can download it from one of my course websites, which is right here. You can see the URL, and the URL will also be provided in the description of the uh, this video on YouTube. And the file name is actually this is wrong. The file name is teachingratings.rda. So here we go. We are making a correction on the fly. Let's see how we will work with this. Now the first thing to do is to estimate a weighted least square model. Um, I will call. Um, I, I will create an object called HAM, HAM. I use it as an abbreviation for Hammermesh and see the arrow. Arrow means that whatever happens with this command, store it in this object called HAM. 
I'm using the linear regression model, LM. Here's eval is my dependent variable. Beauty is my variable of interest. The remaining are the controls that I explained earlier. And to estimate a weighted least square model, I have as use the command weights is equal to students. So now this will create the model. And then I have to manipulate the standard errors in this model. So for this, I need to do use more commands. First, I'm going to introduce you to Stargazer uh, package. This allows us to present the output from regression models in a very nice presentable way. So I take this object ham and use the Stargazer command and um, type is equal to text. So I want the output to be text like. And before I can use this um, command, I have to install the package. And every time before using the package, I have to use the command library and then open parenthesis Stargazer. Now I can then use this output. I'm not showing this output right now, but before that I would like to show you how to correct for the standard errors. There are two ways to do it. I'm using the sandwich library and uh, creating an object called covariance COV by using these commands to correct for the standard errors to get robust standard error. And once this object is created, I need the square root of this and the square root of the diagonal of this. So I take the square root of the diagonal of the variance covariance matrix and store it as robust.se1, which is my robust standard errors. And I call one because I'm, I'm going to estimate another one. And this package called multiway VCOV or multiway variance covariance is the one you really need to replicate the results in the Hammermesh paper. I create this new entity using this command from this particular package. Um, using the same ham model, but I say in this uh, object ham, um, use the teaching ratings dollar prof, that is this prof variable, so that the cluster um, the standard errors are, are clustered standard errors around this particular variable. And once this is created, again, I just need the square root of the diagonal of this, and I'm going to use the square root of the diagonal and store it as robust standard errors. Afterwards, I just use the stargazer command. I say I want the same output for the same model, hammermesh, ham, 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 three times because um, I'm um, using three types of standard errors. In the first one, I'm using nothing. I'm using the um, standard errors that are reported um, as uh, by the model. In the second one, I'm replacing the standard errors as robust standard errors, um, which we estimated here or calculated here. And in the second or third illustration, we are replacing the standard errors in this model as the robust uh, standard errors two, which were from this multi-wake variance covariance um, option. The rest are just ways to present the data or the model nicely. Um, we would use column.label command to put the columns, um, labels, and also covariate labels so the, the variable names are properly displaced as uh, displayed as labels. Having done this, uh, you can see that the results are complementary to what you have seen earlier. Um, this is the Hammermesh paper output. You can see that we get identical results from here and here. Um, and this is the uh, standard weighted model with clustered standard errors. The regular weighted model and the weighted model with um, ordinary or robust standard errors are here and weighted model with clustered standard errors are in the third column. Um, the output in this particular uh, column is identical to Hammermesh's output. So again, um, it is uh, our, my pleasure to help explain the uh, application of econometrics for uh, models with uh, repeated observations from individuals and also where the observations are weighted. Um, if you want to learn more about this, you can uh, consult chapter 7 of Getting Started with Data Science. I hope this video has been helpful.